Say my name. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. You're goddamn right. What is up, YouTube? It is Joker777, and I'm back with another review. And no, we're not going to be using Walter White soundboards the entire time. And I know that this is not the official Walter White hat, but it's the best I got. It's what I'm working with. But anyways, what is up, YouTube? And uh, as you can tell by the title, this is none other than my review for Breaking Bad. Now, I unfortunately did not, did not catch the show while it was running on AMC. I had to basically watch all of it online, or I had to, you know, buy episodes off Voodoo and things like that. But I recently just finished it, and my, oh my, what a show. Matter of fact, my newest favorite show of all time, for now. And here's the thing. When I first uh, heard about Breaking Bad, I heard all the hype that was going on around it. I heard, you know, how just big it was and how everybody was watching this show. And I kind of was like, well, would it really live up to the hype if I watched it? Because, I mean, I try not to put hype behind too many things, whether it be, you know, movies, TV shows, video games, anything like that. If there's a lot of hype behind it, I tend to kind of ignore it. But when a show like this has that amount of hype, I mean, pretty much everyone was saying, I need to watch this show. So I finally started watching it. <clears throat> and I loved it from the very first episode. And... You know, it, as far as being my favorite show of all time, it wasn't up until, like, the last half of, you know, Season 5, which was uh, the second half of Season 5. They, they call it Season 6, but it is what it is. But that last half of the season, I was just, I was blown away by it. It was so great. There's so much that goes right with this show, and there's so little that goes wrong. I just, it's one of those shows, and this is amazing because this show manages to do what a lot of shows don't. This show manages to get a big crowd of people. Now... You do have your TV shows that have, like, their small followers, like, you know, it has their dedicated fan base. Breaking Bad had a giant array of people watching it. And the thing was, you didn't even have to be a fan of this type of genre to enjoy Breaking Bad. You could be a fan of anything. Breaking Bad is that good of a show. And it, it was brilliantly written, brilliantly acted, uh, beautiful dialogue, uh, albeit some of it was kind of cheesy. And there was one episode that involved a fly, uh, which was one of my favorite episodes, believe it or not, just because it was so random. But this show, like, it just, it just captivates people. And I think, you know, one reason why that is is because, you know, a lot of, you know, shows out there, you know, they're all about the good guy. They want to see the good guy win. This show is about the bad guy. I mean, let's put it. I mean, Walter White starts out as a good guy, but then what happens? He breaks bad. Hence the name of the show, Breaking Bad. So, it's awesome to see, like, that they have these kind of shows, such as, you know, Sons of Anarchy. Um, the following recently, which has been kind of proclaimed, which, you know, is reclaiming the bad guy. And Breaking Bad. I mean, all these shows, you know, they're, they're so different with their anti-hero roles, with their villainous roles. I mean, it's, they're, they're just so great. And just, you know, everything that you see some of these characters go through is just purely amazing. So... Obviously, the first thing we got to mention is the acting. Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul have the best chemistry together of any TV show I've ever seen. Brian Cranston is an amazing actor. However, it did take me a couple of episodes to get over the fact that he's Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. Every time I saw him, I was like, Hal, that's Hal. Where, where, where's the screaming mother? Where, where is she? She's not coming? Oh, okay. But they, they, they do such a great job, and Aaron Paul by far, kills it as Jesse. Jesse Pinkman, I'm going to go ahead and say, is my favorite character. I love the character to death. I love, love, love Jesse Pinkman. Matter of fact, uh, now I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start saying bitch at the end of every single one of my sentences. Bitch. <laughs> but um, that's not one of the, but that's just one of the reasons why I like him. Another reason is because Jesse goes through so much crap, particularly towards the end. And this is where some people say that, oh, he's kind of whiny. He's not a strong character. He's kind of a wimp. So, you know what? Just, just forget that. I, I love Jesse, and I love all the changes he goes through. I love, you know, who he is as a character. I love his mannerisms. I love his dialogue. I love everything about him. Um, Brian Cranston kills it as Walter. And there's a whole cast and plethora of characters, some of which are just insane, some of which, you know, you grow to hate. Uh, the villains in this thing are great. Um, 
whether it be uh, Gustavo or Tuco or even um, Uncle Jack and Todd. I hated Todd with a passion. God, I hated him and I wanted him to die. But <laughs> it goes to show my character, right? So, really there's not a whole lot that goes wrong with this show. I mean, great acting, great dialogue. I love the dialogue, especially whenever Walter and Jesse, whenever those two are just on screen, you could have an entire episode with just those two on screen, which they kind of did one kind of like with the fly. Um, but, they, but they did kind of cut out back and forth between other stories that were going on, but I would like to have seen, you know, just... Like, I would love to see Brian and Aaron just get together and just talk for an hour, because I would watch that time after time again. I think it would be amazing. I just, I just can't say enough about those two. They worked so well together, and their chemistry only grew and grew as they did the show together um, more often. And it was just amazing to see them grow together and see them to see them kind of play off of one another. A lot of people, uh, I know a lot of people's favorite, favorite characters sometimes died. Um, so, my condolences to you guys. <laughs> The, there, there were two things I found that were kind of annoying about the show. And I've already said all the good about it. Now let me go ahead and get these few bad points out of the way. But it does not take away anything from the show whatsoever. The one thing is kind of a personal thing. I have a hearing problem on my right side. I'm about 60 to 65% deaf on my right side. And the characters, whenever there was two of them in a room, particularly Gus, they would do this whisper thing that a lot of TV shows do. They start out at a high volume and then they start slowly tripping down like this to where you can barely hear them and you have to get this close to great. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Like, Gus would do that, and it would irritate me, because I'd have to be like, what? What? And I have to turn my TV up, and then as soon as I turn the TV up, there's a giant explosion, and it wakes up everyone in the house, because I'm watching, you know, TV shows at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, here's the embarrassing part of the uh, video, so as you can tell, the quality has lowered dramatically, uh, because the batteries in this camera have officially died. There are no more in the house, and the batteries I was using are rechargeable batteries, but I currently have them hooked up. They're about eight hours on the charge, so I'm going to make this very quick, just because this webcam is not that great. And, um, it is what it is. It's a break, but I wanted to get a video out just because I haven't put a video out in about a month or so, and so I wanted to get something out there. But those are my overall feelings of Breaking Bad. I thought the show was great. It's my new favorite show so far. So, in the comment section below, you guys just let me know what you thought of the show, uh, what you liked about it, what you didn't like. And so, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off. I'm going to make one more review, and hopefully it'll turn out alright, especially with this webcam. But anyways, guys, I'm Joker777, and I will see you guys later.